Well, Glenda, the man actually called the Oakland County Executive's office the day before to try to meet with him. We'll show you his mugshot. We have it right here. You can see on your screen 61 year old James Graves. People where he lives in Brandon Township originally called police on Wednesday because he was allegedly running around the neighborhood with a shotgun dressed in camouflage clothes. Now, someone reported hearing two gunshots, and then witnesses told police that Graves punched a 53 year old woman in the face and then threatened. To shoot her, and that Grace pointed the shotgun at a woman driving by. Police arrested him as he tried to run into his house. Now, while searching his home, they said that they found three handguns, 14 long guns, two crossbows, and a marijuana grow operation. That's when police say that Graves threatened to kill them and the Oakland County executive. Now, the day before, he called Elbrooks Patterson's office and tried to meet with him about a project, but nobody knew what he was talking about. My secretary handed me the slip, and he said he wants to talk to me about a project. Well, okay, so I had to call, call back and find out what project. And maybe it doesn't come to me, maybe it goes with somebody else. By the time we got back to him, he was already under arrest. So the guy was, um, the only thing that concerns me is had he gained access to my office, so tell him what he would have done and to whom. Now, Patterson used to be a, an Oakland County and a prosecutor before he was Oakland County executive, so he's used to or he's had threats in the past, but this is still the scary situation, still forcing him to take necessary precautions. Graves is currently locked up in the Oakland County Jail. We're live from Oakland County, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. And Julie, how's Al Brooks doing tonight? You spoke with him. Is he okay? Still a little rattled, or how's he doing? A little rattled, but you heard him chuckle a little bit right there, and I think he's feeling a little bit better, but he's still, you know, he's still taking precautions, and he's still, you know, watching what's going on around him.